Okay. Oh, oh gosh. One Okay. Okay, that was just weird. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius. While the oven is being heated, prepare all ingredients for mixing. Uh-oh, there's a hole somewhere. Oh, uh, technical difficulty. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a look at that, that is almost fully crushed. By crushing up the graham crackers, a larger surface area is created and allows for a more even baking to occur. The oven, set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, retains the heat and keeps at constant conditions that are ideal for cooking the crust. We'll take the next biggest knife. Nice little strips. Okay, so the butter's in there. And we're all just gonna... A fork well, suggested no. by Sydney would be a great idea. I'm just gonna crush all this butter up until it's all nice and buttery, buttered up. I feel like Paula Dean right now. Next, mix the ingredients together and press into a 9 inch pie plate. Okay, so now that we have our nice, uh, nice crust ready to be made, we're just gonna pop this into the, the the glass pan is a poor heat conductor which retains heat allowing the underside of the pie to bake evenly. So now that we have all this in the pan, we are just gonna... That's... This is a lot. Yeah, no, we're, we gotta pour like half of that out. No, 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 we don't. Nah, yeah, I think we're good. So what we're gonna do now, face up, we're gonna take the spoon. We're just gonna push this down until it is all packed. Everything will be fine. To finish the crust, bake on the middle rack of the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. While the crust is cooling off, prepare all filling ingredients for mixing. It's the yolk or yellow portion which is responsible for the egg's emulsifying properties from the fat and lecithin contained in them. This results in a creamier and smoother texture of the key lime filling. That's good enough. Then we turn off the mixer and add the sweetened condensed milk. Then we drizzle half of the lime juice. It's fine. The reaction between the condensed milk and the acidic key lime juice causes the chemical reaction known as thickening, which is when the viscosity of a liquid increases, thus thickening itself without requiring baking. Eh. Once everything is mixed together, we add the zest. The ingredients for the filling are evenly mixed together to form a homogeneous mixture. Then we continue to mix until everything is combined. Then we put the pie in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. The recipe requires us to bake the pie for 12 minutes in the interest of safety due to the consumption of raw eggs. The baking also thickens the texture more than the thickening reaction alone. Okay, now that we have the pie done, we're just gonna take her out. Ooh, that is warm, okay. We're just gonna... It should be custardy, as said on the recipe. Is Once it custardy? It sets. Once it sets. Once it sets. It, it's, a, it's a little jiggly, but. We whipped by hand the heavy whipping cream, vanilla, and sugar until creamy peaks form. We 
whipped air into the cream mixture, which increased the volume, making the cream fluffy and thick. Awesome. 